Hi guys, this is um, what is your person feeling about you for Gemini? Hi Geminis, I hope you guys are doing amazing at this time. Today is July 12th, 2021, um, but whenever this video finds you is when it's meant to find you, you guys. Um, so there was a few intuitive messages, kind of just like energetic feels, I guess you can say. Um, before I started this reading, uh, or, you know, before I sat down to start this reading and Gemini, it feels like, um, I heard like defensive and I feel like your person Gemini is afraid that you are going to be defensive about something. And that makes me feel like they did something to make them think that way. You know what I mean? Like they want to come in and say something or they want to do something. Um, but they're afraid of, um, how you're going to react. And I don't think you're going to react in any type of way. You know what I mean? I think it's like this like thing they're making up in their head, a fear or something. Um, and then I heard like making a mess. So I don't know. We'll see what comes up Gemini's. Um, but love is in the air. I can feel it and I feel like, um, you have some really strong, deep love connections out there right now, you guys. Um, even big soulmate stuff, okay, like deep soul bond stuff. So, um, we'll see what comes out, but let's get started, you guys. <sighs> By the way, you guys, I pre-shuffled and cut the deck, but what else, right? Just charges it up. I just looked at the timestamp and it was 143, which if you guys used to do pager code back in the day, means I love you. Oh my gosh, look. Gemini's. Some fire energy coming in hot. The Knight of Wands. <gasps> mm, someone wants to communicate. They want to talk passionately with you. Okay. Um, I feel like this person may have been someone, Gemini. This isn't going to be for all of you. It's okay. Um, that in the past was kind of like a player type energy. Um, a little in and out, I guess you can say. Like maybe a little breadcrummy. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands is someone who's he's a lover. He's passionate. He rushes in. He love bombs you. Um, but then he could be gone as fast as he comes in, right? Um, but... I don't know. Let's see what else comes out. But I feel like this, this, I'm hearing this time around, it's a stable offer. Huh? Okay. Let's see. For Gemini, for Gemini, for Gemini, please. Thank you. Okay. You are on this person's mind nonstop. Like the thought of you, the idea of you, of you guys together, um, the memory of you is what I'm hearing. Um, so a lot of you, you know, this is someone where you've been in a connection with them. You've had some go arounds or whatever, but this isn't like toxicity to me. This isn't like someone you've had a toxic past with. This feels new. It just feels like you guys maybe like come together sometimes and fall apart, come together, fall apart. Like it never really had the chance to happen maybe for some of you guys. Um, that's definitely going to be for some of you. Um, but Either way, you guys, this person is someone that wants to come charging in and it's weighing heavily on them. I mean, this, I'm hearing reunion. So to me, it feels like you guys have been in like some type of separation from this person. Um, but they're so close. They're so close. I feel like they've been thinking about this for a long time. Oh yeah, they have. Look, the moon and the ten of cups. This is weighing heavily on this person because they have some really deep emotion here. Um, I feel like this person has been really confused about, I don't know, maybe how they wanted to go about doing this because this is how they feel. This is how they see you. This is what they want, you know, is this 10 of cups. It's happily ever after, you know, it's emotional fulfillment. It's, you know, um, a successful loving partnership. You know, it's, um, it could be marriage, it's family, you know, having a happy home life with someone. It's like the whole package. And that's what they see here. But they've, they've been uh, keeping it all hidden. Oh my gosh, did you guys see just how I started stuttering? See this person, as I'm saying, they've been keeping it all hidden. I start stuttering because that's this person. It's like every time they want to talk 
or they want, you know, they, they hold themselves back, they hide it. Um, and I think Gemini, it, it came to a point, you know, maybe in the recent past or I don't know, maybe in the last few years where you were like, okay, like you need to just like figure your shit out and don't come back to me until you do, or I don't want to talk until you do or something like that, you know? Um, so that's what this person did. They've figured it out, you know? This is completion. This is a 10, 10 of cups. And this is emotional kind of completion for me. And that means for me, with the moon energy here, you know, um, they worked through a lot of shit, deep stuff, subconscious stuff, you know? Probably did a lot of shadow work um, and all that. But anyways, they have deep, deep emotion for you. And they, it's like, they want to have like a, just a, I don't know like the romance between you guys is like off the charts or something and they just can't it's like in it, fix what's that intoxicated them this romance that you guys share this connection um there's a lot of passion and joy and like pleasure when you guys are together um and this person definitely feels energetically bound to you and that's why this is weighing so heavy on them you guys yeah, okay, here you go. Here's the offer, Page of Pentacles. I've got Earth Energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Um, which feels to me that this person is ready to start getting a little grounded here. You know, this isn't, you know, the page is a message. It's communication, a text or a, a direct, a DM, an email maybe, you know? They may pick up the phone and call you, um, but I feel they're very nervous about approaching you. Remember what I said in the beginning, you know, um, defensive. They're afraid you're going to be defensive. So see how he's like, he looks a little scared, timid, right? Like, uh, you know, he doesn't look sure if he wants to do this. Well, it's not that he's not sure that he wants to offer it. He does, but he's just scared of what the reaction will be. Okay. Um, so they probably did something to make, you know, to where they are thinking that way. You know, they did something to you in the past. Um, but they think that you are the most beautiful person they've ever seen, like inside and out. You were just like, ah, um, male or female, um, you know, or the most handsome and beautiful person on the inside and out, you know, they just, they've never met anyone like you. I mean, your, your looks, the way you carry yourself, just like this peacock right here. I mean, they, they're love struck is what I'm hearing. It's love struck. Um, and then I just heard another one bites the dust. Choo -choo. Another one bites. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. My guides are funny guys. Um, wow. Okay. Um, there's been a lot of transformation that's taken place both within you in the recent past, Gemini and your person. Okay. I see a lot of, um, clarity around this connection, you know, coming in, in the, in the, in the near future, like, you know, um, like immediate future. I want to say this is, You've got 10 of wands, 10 of cups, okay? Um, you've got the offer right here. You've got the knight of wands. It's coming in fast. They're coming in fast and quick with this knight of wands energy. Um, but I don't feel that they're coming in like super confident like the knight of wands. They will show you that afterwards, I feel. Um, yeah, look, queen of cups. You guys, you can't make it up. This is ugh, unconditional love. I mean, it's the most love you can have for someone else. It is. It's unconditional. Um, and this is love that's been given or is going to be given. This person is ready to, I mean, they want it all with you. I feel like for a lot of you in the recent past, you did turn your back on this person. And uh, look what came out right when I said that, the tower. Yep. I hit the nail on the head with that one. She's holding, it looks like daffodils in this picture and the chariot. You got the tower. Oh my God. Holy crap. And the knight of cups. He was underneath the tower. I didn't even see it because they flew out like that. Um, she's holding like, looks like daffodils or something, right? Or I don't know what they are. They look like daffodils to me. Um, so this person may have like at one time, like, you know, like try to like bring you flowers and like woo you and like love bomb you, like I said, and you know, you're like, no, like, so they, they really had to kind of go within, I feel, um, you know, and 
and heal some stuff. I'm just getting that. I don't with I'm getting it off of the moon card. Um, you know, I, I I read and feel energy, guys, and I you know I'm psychic. I I I, I don't I know the meanings of the cards. Um, I just looked at the timestamp. It was 10:10. Right as I'm saying this, wow. Um, yeah, there's gonna be some completion here in your guys's connection. Uh, real fast. Look, yep, a wish fulfillment. Gemini, I feel like you want this as much as this person wants this too. This is both a wish fulfillment. It's for both of you guys. You know, the Ten of Cups it's and the Ten of Wands, it's it's an even number. It's completion. It, if you cut it in half, fives are all about overcoming challenges and all that, you know. But it's like there's five and five. It's like you and them. And you guys come together and you complete this, okay? Um... I just heard the name Grace. So some of you watching this might have the name Grace. Look at that, the lovers that landed right on top of the, um, the Nine of Cups. All right, guys, this person has been going through a major tower moment. I mean, they have like literally like lost their shit, like because they don't have you and because they are, I'm hearing in the doghouse for many of you. Um, so they, they've been like losing their shit. They've been having a tower moment. I mean, they feel like, ugh, frantic is what I'm hearing. They feel frantic to get you, Gemini. And um, it's because they love you. I mean, you have the fucking lovers here, the Knight of Cups. You have Mr. Debonair himself, Mr. Chivalrous, Mr. Secret Admirer, Knight in Shining Armor, coming with his big old cup of love. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the lovers. I mean, this is a soulmate connection. The lovers can be twin flame. Okay. I mean, this is some this is some powerful cards right here. The tower, it's divine intervention. Okay, this person could have like <laughs> I mean, they could have had their worlds could have been like crumbling apart since you since you guys fell apart or something. But oh my gosh, Gemini, all they want to do is come in and hold you and love you. I mean, look at that. That is some sensual shit. You make this person extremely happy. Yeah, they want to hold you through like good times, bad times, ups and downs, all that. This person would fight for you. See that? He's a fucking gladiator. He's like a gladiator. Look at that. That's like that, that movie Troy with Brad Pitt. Oh my God, I love that movie. I love Brad Pitt too. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, wow. So you have a soul connection, a deep, deep, deep physical connection too with this person. I mean, you guys are like firecrackers when you guys are together. Um, even if you haven't like, you know what I mean, been intimate with this person. Um, it's just, you guys just know, it's just, you feel it, you know? Um, all right. How else does Gemini's person feel towards Gemini? Ooh, there we go. Oh, there you are, Gemini, queen of swords. See, this is what I'm talking about with the defensive. So for many of you watching this in the recent past, your person did something. They did something to hurt you, hurt your feelings. They let you down. They disappointed you. They did something where they feel wrong. And that's why they want to come back and fix this. Okay. They know this is a deep connection. I mean, my God, you guys. Like, they know this is a deep connection. They feel that this is a soul connection. Okay. You guys have had past lives together. Probably a lot of you. Many of you. It's a deep, deep soul bond. Okay. Um, and this person, I feel like it's taken them a long time to get to a point where they really just are going to trust their intuition. And that's what they're doing, you know, but this person has some secrets, you know, they, there's some things that need to be revealed here. And also the high priestess is about like, you know, what's to come, what's to be revealed secrets, you know, um, you know, op opening up truths. Queen of swords is about truths. This is what they're afraid of though. They're afraid that you are going to cut them out or you're going to be done, or maybe you are done. Maybe you won't want to hear it, you know? So they are coming in as a page energy. I feel that, you guys. Even though we have two nights, <laughs> I know. It, it's just, I feel, that's what I feel. They're very intimidated because of probably how they've acted or what they've said or whatever has gone down between you guys. 
but this person is following their intuition here. Um, I feel like they just, part of the reason they've been holding back is because they just, they can't read you. They just don't know what, how you feel or what you're thinking, you know? But I also feel like Gemini in the past, for some of you, that person made you feel that way and it came back around on them. You know what I mean? Um, but this is, I mean, they, they know what this is and this is extreme passion. Like I said, I mean, you guys have a sexual chemistry, like off the charts and, um, this person wants happily ever after. I mean, and this is, you know, it's coming together. It's union. It's two souls coming together, you know, two soulmates. All right, guys. Yeah, look, five of swords, false victory. Someone cheated themselves, all right. Your person cheated themselves in the past and they know it. That's why they feel like they got to come in the way they do. All right, for Gemini and their per thank you. The, the only card, there's a bunch of cards that dropped and the only one that, I, that caught my eye was true love, the true love card. So I don't know, that'd be a trip if it fell out again, right? That kind of stuff happens all the time in tarot, especially on my channel. By the way, guys, if this is resonating with you, if you're connecting and vibing with this, smash the like button for me, please. It helps my channel grow. And it means so, so, so much to me. I'm really trying to get my channel to grow. And um, that way I can reach more people. <gasps> get very soon, honeymoon. Reach more viewers like yourself. And, um, and it also helps tie you into the channel energetically, you know, a little stronger. So kind of helps you in that way as well. And um, I suggest if you have like other favorite readers on YouTube, like and subscribe to their channels too. Wow. All right. I was going to see if anything else. Look at that. Calling in your soulmate. See, your person is manifesting this with you. They're manifesting this reunion or this union with you, okay? It's coming together of two soulmates. It says your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. Yeah, yep, they're manifesting the shit out of you, Gemini. <laughs> then it says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to, to, comes to you now. That is a form of manifestation, making a choice, making a decision, seeing a vision of what you want, and, and and trusting that it will happen they've made up their mind okay this you're going to be hearing from this person very soon for many of you most of you is what i'm hearing but keep in mind that people still have free will here i mean you have a lot of big hitters as far as cards go so i feel that for if 95 percent of you that this is what's going down in the very near future maybe the next week or two, or, you know, maybe it's already happened. It could happen today. But anyways, um, it feels hot. The energy feels real hot to me. And, um, anyways, guys, but this person wants to move things forward with you. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah. They want to spend time with you. They want to like, just hang out, get to know you, like really bond with you. I feel like, um, I just heard mesmerized. So, I don't know. They're mesmerized, Gemini. They're mesmerized and they want to move this forward and reconnect and rekindle the old flame or the flame that hasn't burned out, you know, because this is a deep soul bond. Could be twin flame for some of you guys, but feels very deep and soul matey. Um, all right, let's just get one or two oracles and then we'll look at that. The scythe it says unexpected, sudden, Cut, release, harvest, liberate, shock, ripping off the band-aid, a surprise, yeah. This person's just gonna come in real fast, like the like the Knight of Wands energy. It's just like they, they're just gonna rush right in. Okay. Just rip off that band-aid. Just send the text, just send the DM, just pick up the phone and make the call. It's gonna be like that. Look at what's on the very bottom, you guys. The Celtic knot. Sorry, my doggy's whining at the door. He wants him. It says unconditional love, legendary, divine union, eternal love, infinity, enduring, connected, love of a lifetime. Do you know how deep the this this is, the Celtic knot? I mean, this shit is like eternal burning flame of love. This is eternal burning desire, eternal soulmate. I mean, this is deep stuff, you guys, deep stuff. Unconditional love, a divine union. Yes, indeed, you guys. Wow. Eternal love, infinity. Yeah. This is a, for many of you, this is a twin flame. For fucking sure, you guys. For sure. For sure. Sorry. Excuse my language, you guys. But when I channel sometimes, you guys, I get on a roll and I start cussing. 
Yep. Yep. See, in the past, for a lot of you, this person was a stalemate, breadcrumbing, wasn't going anywhere, standoffish, but their heart opened up. You opened their heart, Gemini. You changed them. That's what I'm hearing. Love, romance, joy, bliss, heart's desire, content, affection, fulfillment, kindness, forgiveness, passionate, caring. Yeah. They're hoping for your forgiveness so you guys can be happy and, you know, be in joy and bliss and all that. But, you know, it's up to you, Geminis, right? So I think for most of you, you guys have been hoping for this and it's going to make you very happy. And I just want to say, Geminis, it's not all in your head. This person really feels this way about you. Okay. Um, so you guys, I hope that this connected with you. Thank you for subscribing and liking the video. Mwah. Um, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, I am taking a uh, request at the time or at this time. Still, you can find my email down below in the description box. It's Erica. I'm sorry. Not Erica. <laughs> Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. That's my name. Hi, Erica. Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot at gmail.com. Okay, guys. And you just, and all the pricing and all that is down there. And you can follow me on Instagram at Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. And I am sending you guys love and light. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Geminis.